Right, so all the concepts are already covered, so it will be good for us to look into some of the basic configuration and the application of an ACL. Now, this is how the basic configuration command of ACL. You already have some ideas on what is a basic ACL and what is a advanced ACL, but we also need to know that they also have two types of ACL. One is the number ACL, another one is the name ACL. So for us to create the ACL, we use uh, ACL um, keyword, then we put in the number, that's number refer to either basic, either it's an advanced layer two or user ACL. Then we put in the ACL number, which is by default a step of five. Then we also have to put in the subnet and the wildcard. All right, same go for your uh, advanced ACL. So uh, here we have a name ACL instead of a uh, number we are going to create a name now once you create a name then you have to remember you are going to ask for either you want to go for the basic or at once so rather than you actually put in the number 2000 or 3000 you have to put a name but the name doesn't know that whether it's uh, at once or basic so you have to specifically tell the vrp is this a basic or at once and then the matching order now, second here you can see that here once you enter already, you can see that they will give you the 2000 or whatever number that you already specified. Then you can create the rules. Then you can actually say that should I permit or deny what is the source or destination. And you also can specify this ACL only apply at certain time. So let's look into one case. Use a basic ACL to filter data traffic. So in this topology, so I have one topology here. So I have 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and 192.168.2.0 slash 24. So these are two different interfaces. Then this switch actually connects to a router, gig 001, and the router connect to the server, gig 002. My server have an IP address of 10.1.1.1. So let's look into the requirement. To prevent the user host on the network segment, 192.168.1.0 from accessing the network where the server resides, configure a basic ACL on the router. So which means that this particular uh, host will not allow to go into the server. They are not allowed to go to the server. Okay, so remember that. So configure a basic ACL. After the configuration is complete, the ACL filter out the data packet whose source IP address are on the network segment 192.168.1.0/24 and permit other data packet. Okay, so uh, you already understand the requirement. You also see that how's the topology look like. So let's just configure it. So we have to configure in three steps. The first step that we need to do here is to configure IP address. And routes on the router so this we assume that is already pre-configured so we ignore that for now so uh, is the configuration is there but we are not going to list it down here in this example second create a basic ACL on the router to prevent the network 192.168.1.0 which is this part here from accessing the network where the server resides so firstly we are going to look into ACL 2000. So 2000 is a basic ACL. Once you press enter, it will give you router ACL basic 2000. Now here, you have to be careful. You put a rules. You notice that I don't have to put rules 5 or rules 10. Remember, it's always 5, 10, 15. That is a step of 5. Then we have a D9. Then we have the source. Now because 2000 is a basic, D9 is an action. So the source is 192.168.1.0, so which is exactly uh, this network. And you also notice that we have 0 .0 0.0.0.255, mean that the entire subnet. Now, once this is entire subnet is being denied, then we are going to do a route permit source any because the statement over here mentioned, I want to allow all other packet. Okay, so the ACL has been configured, so the configuration of ACL are pretty easy. So these are the only configuration. This is the three 
uh, command that you need to configure. Now, once you configure this, then you have to apply this configuration into the interface. And how are you going to do that? Well, it's also very simple. First, go to the interface. You notice that we actually go into 001. Now, the traffic filter is inbound because the traffic is actually from left to the right. So it's hit into the router. Get 001 as an inbound. When you remember, you are the router. You are configuring from the router perspective, not from the traffic perspective. Remember, you are the router. Okay, so in this case, the traffic filter inbound ACL not outbound. Okay, it's an inbound. Right, so pretty easy. Okay, I hope that you are following me on this case.